So today we're going to be showing you guys how to refill these little disposable McCormick uh, peppercorn grinders. This also works with the salt grinders or anything that comes in this little glass bottle with this little grinder top on it basically. So we're going to show you how to easily take this off. You're going to need obviously your grinder that's pretty much empty. All this is just going to, we're just going to toss out because it may get actually a little wet with what we do. Uh, you're going to want a little paper towel, a cup of warm water, just as warm as it comes out of the faucet just enough to submerge this plastic part and then obviously you're going to want some peppercorns to refill it. So you can open this grinder without the first step that I'm going to show you if you're strong enough to but this step just helps soften up the plastic a little bit and takes it makes it a little easier to take off the lid. So warm water here just enough to submerge it to this cap and we're just going to put it in there for about five minutes or so and it's going to get the pepper inside wet that's why I said you know you want to have it pretty much empty because we're just going to end up throwing that out because it's going to be all wet and stuff. So we're going to let that sit in there for three to five minutes and we'll be back. So it's been about three minutes and we're back with you. Now you don't want to leave this in there too long. You want the water to stay warm so the plastic, you know, stays softened up a little bit. But we're just going to take it out and go ahead and dry it off on our towel. Obviously we need it dry so we can get a good grip on it because we are going to pull this plastic piece off. Get it nice and dry. And we'll go ahead and rinse the cap out completely in the bottle since the pepper's all wet inside of there. You know, we need to rinse that out and dry it out. But this is just the easier way to get off the top. So we're nice and dry now. So you can just pull this straight off if you're strong enough. But what I like to do, what I like to tell people is imagine there's a pivot point about right where the plastic meets the glass down here. And you're basically going to try to bend the cap off from that pivot point. And I'm going to bend it towards me because you get the most like leverage I feel that way. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna try to, it's kind of hard with the camera right here, but we're gonna try to. And the stuff inside may go flying a little bit, but it's kind of wet, so it may stay together. So we're gonna just kind of grip this in both hands and we're gonna try kind of bend it towards me like so. So, just like this. I'm trying to do it the most where I can show you guys. Just bend it. Yeah, see that's what I was trying to prevent, but a little pepper went flying over my counter, but that's fine. But we have it off just like so, and we're gonna go ahead and rinse all that nasty pepper out since it's wet now. And I'll get back to you once I have this nice and cleaned, and we're gonna have to let it dry for a little bit too. So here we are back with you guys. We've got the grinder um, all it dried out all the way, nice and clean. Uh, you especially want to make sure there's no water in this grinder part. It would just probably get kind of caked up with, you know, pepper. But we're going to go ahead and just refill this and put it back together and we'll be good to go. I got a big thing of these off Amazon. I'll put a link down below if you guys want to buy a big refill container as well. Or you can probably find it at your local supermarket. So my hands, I just washed them. I'm just going to make a little funnel with my hands. And you don't want to fill this up all the way to the brim. Because this lid, um, it actually goes underneath the top of here, like the grinder part. So I'd fill it up probably only to like the top of this paper label. So there we go. Right about the top of the label. And we can just go ahead and put the cap back on. The cap just, you can just push it straight back down. You gotta use a little bit of force, but it's pretty easy. I just put it in my hands. You could always put it on like a counter and just put like a book or something over it or a cloth so you don't hurt your hand and just press down on it firmly. And there we go. The adjustment knob still works obviously. And we can just get our freshly ground black pepper just like so thanks for watching guys if this helped you out please smack the thumbs up button it helps me out so so much guys make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell and until next time i will see you later peace